Hey babes, how are you? Evening, how welcome? My name is Michelle, and this is a forecast for my zodiac signs. It's gonna be hopefully in one video. If not, it's gonna be two parts. Uh, before anything, I want to remind you guys that my readings have no date. They are divinely guided. Everything has free will. Not everything is going to resonate with everybody. Keep in mind that roles could be reversed, and it just could be reversed. And with this said, entirely general. Feel free to take or leave whatever you want. We're gonna start with air signs. So first of all, we got Libra. Libra, this week is Karma Week. Uh, people who have done you wrong, who has lied to you, who has done you in any way to perform any type of wrong, they're going to be actually paying. Any humiliation done to you is gonna be a humiliation that's gonna be back at them and it's gonna be very public. So I do see as well somebody who has lied on your name, put words in your mouth, trying to bring you down, your reputation down, your business down, anything way, way to ch shape or form, they're actually living their karma right now. Everything they said is actually being returned back. I do see some people trying to do uh, some sort of spell on you and it backfired, did not work. Um, you may experience better sleep in these days and you may feel less anxious. It's because your ancestors do not play when it comes with you, when it comes to you in your uh, spiritual guides and your entities and any divine protection that you may have uh it's working in your favor and anybody who was trying to put you down and make sure to take away your blessings was actually taught and they got pretty much right-handed and at the end of the day everything went back to them so this week everything is going to make sense and you're going to start seeing a lot of synchronicities and things that were not working out that like you feel like you felt stuck perhaps things are starting to work out for you this week so amazing things are happening for you and karma has hit them and good karma dharma is coming for you gemini new opportunities this is going to be new opportunities in work new opportunities in love get ready for this shift it's going to be like the tower it's like the ending but don't get scared when i see the tower because the tower here is not talking about falling apart it's talking about remodeling they're remodeling your life they're changing shifting because it's for your growth where you are right now you already passed all the tests everything you have been going through 2023 all the way to now was a whole test because now you're about to taste what is success like now i also have a warning for some of you there's going to be an ex or somebody that you may consider at an ex because you may like them in the past is coming back keep in mind that this person is coming in trying to feed off your energies do not let them do that because it could stop your growth but keep in mind that this week is going to be all about growth it's all about shifting so don't be scared of the new get ready to adjust okay aquarius how are you my babes good news are coming when it comes to your health and when it comes to your finances it has been struggle some of you may be struggling with your health perhaps with your money perhaps but things are making sense i do see that it was money that was owed to you for others to view it's going to be a surprise money that's going to be maybe some good people sent to you by the universe that's going to help you with that money that rent money whatever money you need is going to be given to you also there's going to be a phone call from an interview to a job you applied a bit ago this does not have to be a job that was recently applied this job you applied to it a bit ago you perhaps forgot about it you perhaps gave it to you know whatever it's not going to happen they're going to call you it's going to be so unexpected so it could be on a friday in any way to perform friday seems like it and again it's going to be for some of you and you got to be ready because it's going to be super shocking it's going to be a number that you don't have a, an area code that you don't even recognize Pick it up and listen to it because guess what, Bubu Gaga? You are going to get that job. It's going to be the job of your dreams or at least a job that has the paycheck of your dreams, okay? Now, we're going to go with my beautiful water sign. Let's start with my beautiful Pisces. Beautiful Pisces. Oh, my goodness. Get ready because it's going to be an emotional week, Pisces. It's going to be very emotional. At one point, it could feel like a punishment, but it's not going to be. Let yourself be vulnerable. Feel your emotions. Express them and then move past them this keep in mind that people who allow their emotions to be expressed are the strongest people because it's easier to mask and continue with your day but it's hard to allow yourself 
to feel. At this point, Pisces, your emotions and your vulnerability is going to be tested. I also see right here that somebody on your friends that you may know on any social media, there's somebody that you had a very good feelings for, like a lot of feelings for this person is going to pop in the friends that you may know. You're going to reconnect with somebody from the past. You're going to reconnect with some people. And also, there's a change of career as well. Perhaps you have been wanting to change career. Perhaps you got laid off or something, but it's a change of career. Keep in mind that even if it's not what you want to do, it's going to be just enough to get you where you need to be. Remember, don't see this as a stop sign. See this as a ladder because guess what? The only person that could stop you from achieving great things is you. And keep in mind that the sky is the limit. Beautiful Cancer, how difficult has been this past days? Keep in mind that somebody is going to try to contact you. Somewhere from the past that does not add very good vibes to your life it's time for you to grow a pair of potatoes and actually tell them no it's not rude to close the door to somebody who often comes when they need when they need to and often leaves when it's convenient for them you are not a charity community center or none of that you are a person who deserves consistency if they're not capable of doing that baby it's time for you to walk away now it's time for you to reconnect with those friends for those family members it's a good week a good month to do so let yourself be free let yourself be happy again don't hold back i do feel that you have been on hermit mode for so long it's time for you to get out of your cave and actually start experience again start living again start enjoying again this is a good friend of yours that has been missing you for a long time or for a bit don't be afraid of trying to reconnect with this person try to make plans yes you both have busy schedules but hey who doesn't at this point it's time for you to get yourself back out there stop being on hermit mode because guess what it is enough you have been there enough time now it's time for you to put yourself out there so you can actually start acting on it stop wishing on it you need to start acting on it stop wishing on it okay Wishing is good, but acting is better. Scorpio, oh my gosh, you have been going through the tower moment, right? Tower moment, this is just, I lost this, I lost that. And every single time, it's like it topped it. You feel like everything went worse, 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 and worse, right? But now you're on a time of like, okay, it doesn't feel this bad, but you have this sense of like something is happening. Yes, it's a shift. Something, one more thing is going to happen that it may actually be quite harsh to swallow. But keep in mind, this is going to give you what you need for that ascension. You need to find your inner strength. You need to refocus. And unfortunately, it needs to happen this way. This is not a punishment. This is an opportunity to start over, but do it correctly. Okay? Do it correctly. If you don't want to live again the past karma, if you don't want to go back to the past, you need to take this as an opportunity to clear what no longer serves you and allow yourself to refocus so you can actually walk the right path. You are a very spiritual person. You have a beautiful beautiful soul, but sometimes you let other people gaslight you into doing what they want to do. And you need to stop doing that often sorry by putting these people before you you have forgotten about yourself and you have forgotten what is important you need to refocus okay you're going to receive a very important call and a very important letter okay you need to not ignore it okay listen to me do not ignore it and i do see right here that you need to be careful with your car your car needs fixing your car has been making a weird noise for some of you or your car could be oldish do not go on the freeway do not go out very late at night hoping for the best it's time for you to refocus and take that car to the mechanic don't take your chances and if you can't afford a mechanic right now please at least get an uber or get a bus because i do feel you may feel you may feel it's gonna be okay but you're gonna end up being stranded and then you're gonna have to pay for a tow truck it's gonna be worse it's gonna be easier it's if you go easy. out or go with somebody else because otherwise you're going to regret it boo boo now there's gonna be somebody from the past ask you asking you for help do not offer them do not offer them help because they're not going to give you back what you need. Sounds selfish. It could be, but right now you need to put yourself first. Now we're going to go with Leo. Leo, there's going to be a lot of, I was going to say traumatic events, but this could be very of like high valuable lessons. Um, 
Be careful of your surroundings where you park, where you go out at night. Be very careful. Don't be so trusting. You could be in a very nice area. You could work in a very nice area or safe area, but being safe, it's one thing, but being too safe, it's a bad thing. Um, they also want to remind you do not leave valuables in the car again even if you live in a good area even if you work in a good area don't do it don't do it this week is not the week for that now they want you to not go out this weekend if you were thinking of like hey i want to stay home and somebody says hey girl hey boy let's go out and hang out don't uh something bad could happen and they want you to stay in this weekend at night of course if you gotta work go ahead but it's talking about going out unnecessarily okay this week is not it now if you live in a very warm area into where you can go to the beach for example or the lake be careful you could actually get attacked or somebody that you may know could get attacked by either or a shark or a crocodile uh um i don't know if i said it correctly but like uh um anyways careful <laughs> um who else i'm going with uh it was gonna be aries aries um stop throwing shade at people on social media uh they're telling you that this is the week for you either or to let it go or talk about it why you're making yourself look so bad unfortunately and at this point you're letting these people win if they're getting under your skin that's what they wanted do not write anything on social media do not throw shade on social media let them think they don't matter trust me throwing them shade is not doing anything but boosting their ego and you're not here to boost anybody's ego they want to remind you to do not let people disturb your peace ignore them now they want you to know to be careful at work this may be some co-workers who are annoying who could be harassing you don't confront confront them go ahead and deal it with who with hr this is the week to be the bigger person <clears throat> sorry to tell you this is a horrible thing to do yes but this is the week to be the bigger person because it'll work at your favor at the end of the day now we're gonna go with um sagittarius sagittarius do not fall into this person's drama and i don't know soap opera this person has issues with their partner and they want you to be a, a show that you cry on no baby they do not care about you they don't see you as a friend they want you to be a, a spare tire that's why they're contacting you if especially if you guys had like a situation ship if they knew you have feelings for this person they don't need to come to you to be a show that you cry on they can cry alone in their house or to their family members now if you're talking to somebody and they mention that person a lot a lot a lot baby that person is unavailable get yourself out <coughs> of excuse me of the situation trust me you're gonna thank me later this is the time to protect your peace your heart your space and you don't need the bs you don't need the drama stay away from drama by staying away from these people now we're gonna go with virgo virgo you are dealing with somebody from the past this person comes and goes as they please no they haven't changed no this is not an opportunity they're gonna continue to come back because you're available if you want to be happy and marry and whatever you want this person is not it they are not single they have somebody else they're using you as a, a shoulder to cry on they're using you entirely for your body for their own pleasure do not let them come back into your life and if they haven't and if they come back this is their reason if they wanted to they would especially if they're calling you at odd times at night like very late at night or so they just don't care for you they just want you and at this point you contacting them or getting in touch with them is going to lead you to the same situation which is waste your time you're too great you're too good you are not usually like this <coughs> this person makes you weak but it's because they are sent to you not by the universe it's a distraction to keep you far away from your actual growth don't let that happen taurus taurus my beautiful taurus what's going on with you what's going on this week 
why are you so mad and so stressed about everything? I do feel like they're telling you, hey, you need some time off to take a good nap or sleep. You need to get yourself out there, like I said before, to cancer. You have been in hermit mode for too long. It's time for you to enjoy life. Reconnect with that friend. Reconnect with that mom, with mom and dad, with a family member. Get yourself a cat. Get yourself a dog. I do see there's a lot of solitude. It is important, but you are getting to the point of being lonely. At this point, I know it's beautiful to not have to give explanation to nobody, but at this point, you need to put yourself out there. If you want a boyfriend, if you want a girlfriend, or if you want some sort of like social life, you need to put yourself out there. Now, not in a risky way, but in a very responsible way because you're an adult and you're responsible for your own decisions okay now they want you to know that you're very good at what you do which is art which is painting creating they want you to stop holding back and give the world what the universe has given to you it's not a bad thing to put yourself out there you may found cringe to post online but it is the time to do so whoever finds it cringy or cringe is people who have no mentality when i started this a lot of people told me to close my shish you know like oh close your account do the and guess what two years later i'm doing pretty good for myself you know everything starts from nothing to something keep in mind that of course whenever you do something on your own it's gonna take a bit and sometimes the people that you were expecting to help you won't do it but that's fine because even without their help you're going to be successful keep in mind that if you were to work with other people in social media in any way to perform there has to be a collaboration so there has to be a mutual um a mutual gain so if you can't provide that or if they can't provide that for you it's no use for you but stop thinking everything is cringe stop actually holding back and do something for you get some plants get your home and your or your room a little bit more into i don't know into your mood i do feel like you are needing to nurture yourself and your soul and you could either or doing it by getting plants getting maybe a little pet or something like that um, but again don't hold back so much it's okay to be in hermit mode but it's time for you to shine and to have the spotlight also capricorn what's going on boo boo no babe you have not done nothing to these people it's just your light people with low vibrations can tend to take and take a look at you and they see you with such a high vibration and they want to dim your light most likely they find you attractive most likely they find you very smart and talented and they're afraid that you could take everything from them they don't want you to worry about it you're not responsible for the way people view you you're not responsible for that because people at the end of the day even if they know you they're going to actually assume whatever is convenient for them because that's how the human brain works right now they want you to focus in what you want to do in your family and your health and what makes you happy now there is possibilities for you to move other places but they want you to be careful yes it's a beautiful place where you're gonna move in the future but guess what there is difficulties coming up and you need to be very aware of your surroundings especially in a new country or in a new state now they want you to know as well to not make decisions based on emotion if you feel overwhelmed and you say oh my gosh i want to quit or oh my gosh i want to do this i want to break up don't let your emotions run high in a sense that you are blinded by them all of the emotions and decisions need to come from a place of peace and understanding and they want you to know this is the week for you to ground yourself and to actually listen to your intuition nobody can help you but yourself all the answers often lies with it and sometimes you just you just want to hear it from somebody else to confirm that you are right so at this point this is the month for grounding resting recharging and deciding what is that you want to do but remember all decisions all conversations everything needs to come from a place of grounding understanding and peace okay this is the week that maybe your peace is going to be tested so understand that your reaction will say more than your reasonings okay don't let people get you to react out of character because that's what they want that's what they want now let me finish out with everything let me give two cards two oracle cards for all of you babes and that's and that's gonna be today <clears throat> the first one says don't allow anyone to abuse your power or take it away from you remember you will be treated how you allow others to treat you show them that you value yourself far too much to settle for anything less than you deserve and the other one says 
Like, make today your new beginning. Try to leave any past mistakes in the past. Don't allow them to weight you down any longer. Move forward today with the confidence and knowing that you have better and brighter days ahead. And I'm going to go with the other one as well at the bottom here. It says, count all of your blessings, even the small ones. Show gratitude and appreciation for all that you have in your life and all that has yet to come into it. Your best days are still ahead of you. Isn't that wonderful thought? Isn't that a wonderful thought? <laughs> Now, babies, this is the end of the reading. I hope you liked it. Um, I'm going to do kind of like the same thing in Spanish. It's going to be more around the abundance. So you guys want to, of course, you guys can switch up the uh, subtitles that is provided by YouTube. I want to thank you, everybody, for the love and the support I've been getting. Uh, I've been going through a lot these past weeks, and I'm going to talk about it on my podcast so I don't take a lot of my time here. But anyways, I want to also invite you to follow me on my other platforms that you haven't already. I'm on Instagram, Facebook. I'm on Twitch discord i'm on spotify and tiktok as well i forgot if i said it and if you're interested in my personal reading i am open every thursday you want to check all the links always in the description box below as well as some of them are going to be in my bio so thank you again have an amazing day